Washcloths are for poor people. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. I only had one friend use washcloths. And when she would stay with me, she'd say, can I have a washcloth? And I said, I don't have washcloths. Yeah. <laughs> There's no washcloth. Use your hand, dummy. I remember the, I really do remember the first time I crashed at a, a poor friend's house. And then <laughs> he handed over like a towel for after no, the shower no. and then a bar soap. And then a little one. I go, what's the little towel? And he goes, a washcloth. And I go, <laughs> I threw it back at him. I'm like, I'm good. And he was like, uh. <laughs> Their argument is that poor people use washcloths, but washcloths cost money. So if that argument was rooted in any sort of reality, wouldn't they say, oh, poor people can't afford to use washcloths? Because this is my thing. This is the logical thing. I would expect for somebody poor to not have the resources to have great hygiene. You know, you can't afford a washcloth. You can't afford body wash and bar soap and stuff, right? That's my expectation. But they sitting here saying that poor people... They got the money to buy washcloths and, and rich people. What? Like, this This does not even make any sense, right? Because it's literally just white people trying to make themselves feel better about the fact that they are being called out about their atrocious hygiene. This is not a new development. This is something that has always been the case. Like, um, hello, bubonic plague much? Have we so soon forgotten? Let me tell y'all something that black people have been talking about since long before 2020. We've been talking about the fact that white people don't wash their hands. When you go into a public restroom, you will see that white people will go in there, they will use the bathroom, and then they will just walk right out. They literally don't wash their hands, right? Then in 2020, when COVID happened, suddenly white people were holding each other accountable for washing their hands, right? And I'm like, it took y'all till 2020 to like grasp this thought. It took y'all till 2020 to be like, hmm, diseases are spread through bad hygiene. Maybe we should wash our hands. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, right? This, this bad hygiene that they display is not anything new. It's not. Literally, Europeans had to be taught how to bathe by black people. Literally, they was off in Europe just nuking all over the place, not washing their behinds, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They had to be taught basic hygiene by black people. Recently, white people have been getting caught out about their all-around funk nastiness. They just a nasty group of people. Like, I've been seeing so many video clips of them saying stuff like, they don't wash their legs in the shower. We're like, why not? You already in there. Like, you might as well wash something. What? Like, I've been seeing them saying stuff like, they only bathe their kids when they start to stink. Or, or like, like going to the pool counts as a bath. Like, what are you talking about? And then you wonder why y'all skin is so nasty. Why y'all age so bad. Why you got wrinkles when you 30. Because chlorine is so drying and you don't wash your behind after you get out of a pool like they just they have the worst hygiene ever and now they're trying to basically this is y'all something just something just hit my mind this is classic cave this is what the caves do they try to make it as if their funk nastiness should be some sort of standard of oh you know like i'm so hoity-toity and let me explain what i mean Everybody knows white people can't cook. And I know there are going to be spicy white people coming. And you, I'm Italian. I'm a white Dominican. I can cook. No, you can't. Okay. Everybody knows that, right? So white people have started this argument that they don't season their food because they use higher quality ingredients, right? But, 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 but there's, there's, there's a hole in this logic. And let me explain it, right? So white Americans will say this to black Americans. They'll say that black Americans overseas in our food because we use in low quality stuff. We got to cover up the bad taste. You know, high quality stuff seasons itself. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I've never had a piece of broccoli that seasoned itself. Uh, that's me personally. Like, I don't think that exists, but whatever. Right. But then this is my thing. This is my thing. White Europeans will say the exact same thing. They'll say that they season their food. No, they, they'll say that they don't season their food. Excuse me. Because, you know, Europe has such great quality food and America doesn't, right? So do you see the issue with that? White Europeans make the claim that Europe has better quality food so they don't have to season it in Europe, right? And they say that, oh, that's why Americans season their food. But then white Americans make the claim that they have good quality food and black Americans don't. And that's why we season it. 
using using the cave logic, shouldn't white Americans season their food too? Because because American food is lower quality than European food, and 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 using that logic, shouldn't Black Europeans, you know, the Africans and Caribbeans there, the Middle Easterners and stuff, shouldn't they not season their food because they're getting good quality European stuff? Like like what? It makes no sense. But again, it goes back to this point: white people always try to make it seem like. Their inferiority should be some sort of standard. So because they can't cook and they don't wash their ass, they're going to sit around talking about, oh, that's because we have better quality food and we have more money. That's why we don't wash our asses. You poor. That's why you use a washcloth. You have bad quality food. That's why you season it. What? Somebody walk me through this. Somebody walk me through this. You telling me that you take a dookie, okay, and then you get into the shower to presumably wash your ass, but you don't use a washcloth. You don't use a washcloth because that's for poor people, AKA niggers, but whatever, right? So you get in the shower and what, you put like some soap on your hands and you like finger your booty hole? Like what, first of all, not only does that not sound like a great cleaning mechanism, I don't think your booty is going to get, you know, sufficiently clean that way, but then it's just like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all, I'm just, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm flabbergasted. And then, y'all, this is why I tell y'all all the time, y'all. Y'all be mad at me when I say stuff like this, but a lot of white people have a look, okay? It's a, it's a damp look. They look like they just came out of a sewer or something. It's a smelly sort of look. It's, it's unique to white people and sometimes biracial. Sometimes biracials also have that smelly look going on. This is my confusion. This is my confusion. Say you spill some food on the stove or something. You're not going to put some cleaner on your hand and just start doing this. You're not going to do that, right? No, you're going to find a rag. You're going to find a rag, put some sort of cleaning solution on that, wet it, you know, and then you're going to clean with that, right? So if you were clean a stove with a rag, why wouldn't you clean your ass with a rag? Like, I don't get this. If, if you wouldn't wash the dishes with just your hand, like just pick up the dishes and start rubbing it with your hand why would you do that with your ass crack what huh you know what i'm saying like that's just not logical but you know what y'all would i be flower tire if i didn't bring slavery up because this goes back to slavery it really does i'm sorry this is just the truth of the matter white people they can't cook they can't clean they can't wash their ass because for all of their history black people have done that for them you know what i can't even blame slavery i was going to blame slavery because you know all throughout slavery white people had us cooking their food you know cleaning their houses etc 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 so that explains why they can't cook to this day they can't clean worth a damn they dirty they nasty etc but no no this precedes slavery because like i said europeans are the exact same way y'all just a foul group of people and i wish y'all would be foul and be proud about it stop trying to make it as if your funk nastiness is some like standard that people should aspire to oh yeah only poor people use wash clothes oh my gosh like only people who eat low quality food season their food pip pip treat uh, me like no just say you a funk nasty hoe who be eating funk nasty shit and be proud of it be proud you nasty motherfucker